mixed reaction have trailed the report on the arrest of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Unabdi Kanu, by the Nigerian government. On Tuesday, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, informed journalists that Kanu was arrested and brought to Nigeria on Sunday. He said the arrest followed a collaborative effort between security agencies in Nigeria and Interpol. Malami further disclosed that Kano would be taken before the Federal High Court in Abuja for the continuation of his trial on charges bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, unlawful possession of firearms, and management of an unlawful society. Both Nigerians on social media have kicked against Kano's arrest, noting that they are more serious security threats that can be tackled. Many noted that banditry and terrorism remained the order of the day in the north without any tangible effort by the government to arrest the leaders of the gangs of bandits wreaking havoc. Social media users also condemned Kano's arrest on the premises that Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gomi had not been arrested despite his alleged you know, ties with bandits. While many have found the report credible, some set of persons have instead lauded President Muhammad Buhari for keeping his promise of dealing with terrorists. Below are some reactions from people. Freedom is what we want, even if it means that we pay with our blood for our children and their children to live free from the excesses of the Fulani savagery, then so be it. That is what you know, uncle named Chiki has said about the present situation he said that even if it means you know we paying with our blood for our children and their children to live free from the excesses of the Fulanis, you know savagery then so be it what is your thought about this all we want is freedom that is what Chiki has said what is your thought about what Chiki have said when would they arrest the spokesman of bandit that is gumi that is what another person have said who does not want his name to be mentioned what is your thought about this saying you are arresting someone who is fighting for the peace of his own region then when will you arrest someone who has you know turned himself to the spokesperson of the bandit gumi have you know turned himself to the spokesman for the bandit when will he you know be arrested that is what people are saying what is your thought about this also federal government gets ready for what is coming on them we are ipop and not coward like the Fulanis and the Buhari government. What is your thought about what Henry have said? Henry was the one who said federal government should get ready for what is coming on them because we are IPOP and we are not cowards like the Buhari government and the Fulanis. What is your thought about this? So federal government can go through the pain of arresting Namdi Kano abroad but cannot arrest Boko Haram and bandits who kill innocent Nigerians daily. That is what, you know, Oba of Kogi have reacted in his own reaction. So federal government can go through the pain of arresting Namdi Kanu from abroad, but cannot go to arrest Boko Haram and bandit leader who are killing innocent Nigerians daily. What is your thoughts about this? You can see that people are expressing their displeasure over this arrest that has been made. He must be kept alive because Southerners cannot die for Buhari to reign. That is what proudly a son have said. What is your thoughts about this? With this arrest, it shows that federal government can arrest those bandits and kidnappers from their hiding place, but federal government choose not to. We have heard what has been said by Adeshola Gbinga was the one who said that with this arrest, it shows that you know, federal government can arrest those bandits and kidnappers. They have the power, they have the equipment of which can be used to arrest these bandits from their hiding places. But the federal government have chosen not to arrest them, but they have chosen to go after Namdi Kanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of, you know, of Biafra. What is your thought about this? People are not really happy concerning the present situation. So Buhari left Boko Haram, he left Iswap, he left bandits and headsmen and went after Namdi Kanu. Is he the cause of insecurity and poverty in Nigeria? That is what Daniel have said concerning the present situation. We have heard from Daniel saying that you left Boko Haram, you left Iswap, you left Bandit, you left Headsman, and you went after, you know, Nabdi Kanu. Well, 
you say the you know cause of insecurity and poverty in nigeria no when you take a look at the present situation of things in nigeria you can see that insecurity and poverty has been the number one thing that is you know that has been the challenge of nigeria for a very long time and ever since the buhari government has assumed power it has become even more worse than what we have before level of insecurity in nigeria has become the order of the day people are dying every day boko haram has become you know the friends of you know some regions they have been killing and you know destroying things i swap bandits and headsmen headsmen have been attacking people in their farms you know taking over their lands killing them raping them maiming them you know doing all sort of things commit a lot of atrocities yet the president does not see them this military man does not see them but they went after the peace you know agitator someone who has been you know so peaceful in all his ways someone who has been agitating for the peace of his own region and has come up with ipob and esn so that they'll be able to protect their land against you know external invaders that is the person they are going after someone who has a clean heart and abdicano has a clean heart that's what people have been saying and they said it's not the rule you know the cause of insecurity in nigeria it's not the cause of poverty in nigeria the cause of poverty and insecurity is from the leaders we have bad leaders that is why the level of insecurity and poverty in nigeria has risen to the maximum level what is your thought about this yusuf was killed did that stop boko haram the government must tackle the issue that Kano speak about marginalization inequality and restructuring government should not take or make Kano the case and abandon the real case that is what Amam Nansu that is what he has said that the government you know needs to tackle the main issue that Inabdi Kano has spoke about he spoke about marginalization he spoke about inequality he spoke about restructuring the government of Nigeria must make you know the real case the real case and not make in the kind of the case and abandon the real case what is your thought about what has been said it took the effort of iswap to kill abubakar shikau i fear for what the buhari government is about to create that is what matthew Bilo have said concerning the present situation it is painful that this you know may be the end of an abdicano federal government will just abandon him there and keep posting and postponing and adjoining until he has no more strength left in him to fight that was the statement from son of the soil what is your thought about this we have had people expressing their displeasure concerning this according to what son of the soil have said that it is so painful that this may be the end of Unabdikano because the federal government will just abandon him there and keep postponing and adjoining until he has no more strength left in him to fight what is your thought about this a facebook user david ologun said the best way you know the federal government can dose the tension and gain the support of nigerians is to hold dialogue with him and release him to go and calm the southeast there is no point jailing him if agitation must end in the southeast another user victor emeka wrote it changes nothing biafra is bigger than nabdi Kanon. he played his role in waking up the awareness just like no oh no no one can kill shira ideology that is the same you know with biafra unless you come out with a better reason why i you know the Igbos will do better in nigeria than biafra it does not change the fact that nigeria is a zoo and field state and more than 80 percent of abokis cannot travel to their villages because of insecurity glimpse god's power adenu posted that misplacement of poverty how is kind of the problem of this country clueless and blind administration full of hate and nepotism owen aaron also posted and said at the moment arresting ipop leader is never nigerian problem the nigeria itself problem what is your thought about this Anselm kwadibe also reacted and stated in his reaction that it is not the first time they have arrested him the government should train with care the country is too tensed what is your thought about this we have had people who have dropped their thoughts and comment on what has been said we'd like you also to drop your thoughts and comment on this that has been said like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section don't forget that there is mixed reaction that have trade to report on the arrest of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of biafra ipop and Namdi Kanu by the nigerian government according to the news nigerians on social media have kicked against Namdi Kanu's arrest Noting that there are more serious security threats that can be tackled in Nigeria. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the